Hello guys, this is Rise 69501. What? Too much. The comic book that I'm going to display is. Issue Uncanny X Men, Uncanny X Men, Issue 327. Look at that cover. Awesome cover. Oh, I'm going to put it here. Okay. Stay. Well, uh, this video is about. I'm going to give you some. some. I'm going to give you my thoughts on some of the comic books that I got for my last unboxing. So I'm going to start with Spider-Man 105. The art was good, the story it was okay, although I don't know, it's been so many years since, since I read Spider-Man, so a lot of years. So I don't know where this new, new, this new Spider-Man comes from. Uh, this is the story about two different Spider-Man or same Spider-Man from different worlds collide. And I don't know, so kind of. This is a mini, uh, mini series, one, one of five. So overall, I like it. It was good. It wasn't bad, but it wasn't. It wasn't. It's not that great either. Maybe the whole meme will make will make will be a lot better. So you know, so I'm gonna see if I can find issue number two through five and see how it goes. And I will give him three out of five. It was okay. Next one is hard hard binder one. Issue number one. This is good. This is good. Very good issue. Excellent. Love the art. Love the story that he can perceive or read uh, other people's stuff just by walking by them. It's like he cannot control it. Trying to control it. And overall, it was excellent. It was excellent. It was I really like it. I'm, gonna, I'm looking. I'm gonna get issue number two and number three. I don't know what issue it is now. I think it's issue number four or five, maybe. So I'm gonna get issue number two if I can find it. If not, then I might buy it and then I might buy it on trade. But excellent story. I really like it. This one I give him four out of five. It was really good. Here, four or five. Next one is Mars Attack issue number one. And here's the color. Uh, the art was good. This is done by by Layman and Mac and Macrea or Macrea. It was okay. As it is, it was good. But the issues following this, I might buy it on trade. I mean, I like it, but not good enough to buy an, uh, the issue every single month. So, what I'm going to do, I'm going to buy it on trade. So, it, <coughs> it was good. It was okay. I'm not going to say that it, it, that it's bad, because it wasn't bad. I would be lying. But it was okay. Like I said, maybe when the first trade comes out, maybe I buy. We'll see. I will give it three out of five. Next one is the massive. Issue number one. Of three. Which I believe this is an ongoing series now. Oh my god, this is so good. This is a post post apocalyptic, post war, post environment, post 
sickness, pulse of everything. It's kind of like, I, I, I read this in, and it reminds me of the movie Water War with Kevin Costner, not in the sense that you have a sea floating sea, no, but kind of like that apocalyptic movie like Water War and Mad Max and what all the movie? That is based on apocalyptic, uh, I think the other one was uh, Escape, from, uh, Escape from New York, kind of like that. And the artist, I really like the art and the story so good. It's so good. If you're not reading this one, read it. Because it's good. I mean, if that is, if you like non superhero story and deals with environment, war, apocalyptic, when the whole world went. And humanity also, well, this is what it's all about. So, I'm, I'm going to get issue number two and number three. I don't know how far it is, it is, but excellent book. This is really good. I give him five out of five. It's so good. And I love this talk so much. So, the next one is. The Infernal Man Thing, issue number one. Uh, love the cover. I really like the cover. This is like this is like a bad copy of Swamp Thing. The art on the inside. It was okay. And then on the last few pages of the issue, they give you kind of like the original comic book that first, first time was published. Story wise, I have no idea. No idea whatsoever. What is going on? I mean, probably this is going to be the first time that I'm going to say, and I'm going to be honest. In my opinion, I didn't like it. Not at all. I didn't like it. Maybe some of you have, because this is the first time I've read anything about nothing. But to me, it's like a bad copy of something. And uh, he's, uh, he's like a epa empathy or empathy uh, the, that kind of uh, the excuse me, the kind of person that can feel what other people feel like happiness sadness craziness everything Ep i think it's called empathy Ep empathy or empathy i gonna look that up here uh the art it was okay i mean I mean, for the character, for the character as it is, it was okay. It has that really smooth style. Let me see, I can see. He's an empathy. That's the word. That's the word. Where he feels what other feels: pain, happiness, sadness, love, hate, everything. But overall, I didn't like it. At all. So I would give this one one out of five. I did like that. I'm gonna keep it this because I like the color. Otherwise, uh, the next one is Amazing Spider Man issue 388, uh, 688. Like I said before, it's been so many years that I haven't read Spider-Man. And this one, this is the, the part one of Mrs. Spider-Man dealing with, with, uh, what's his name, Gator or Alligator, whatever, Lizard Man. Uh, 
and he search and he looks for Mobius and Mobius supposedly found a formula to make him being human again and not being lizard anymore. The story for me that I haven't read Spider-Man for so many years and I start reading this one. It was okay story. It was okay. I'm gonna, I'm gonna get issue uh, part two, issue 689. I'm not sure if I order, I don't know if it's coming my next awesome combustive or not. I have to go and check. Uh, overall, the art was good. It did what it was supposed to do to me, was ent entertain me. So I give him four out of five. Love the cover. Nice call. And that's it, guys. That's how the comic, don't the comic books that I read so far. And also, I decide I was looking on my on my collection there, and in the end, I decide to read the first five issues of that girl. You, if some of you remember her, the new that girl. I only bought her. My last issue was in August of year two thousand. Issue number five, that was the last issue that, that I bought. And I read it, and I really like it. It's sad that I never, you know, that I, I mean, now I realize watching all of you videos that by 2001 is when comic books really got real good, a lot, of, a lot of epic stories, so I miss a lot of good stories, but uh, it was, I really like it, I really like it, and the art of Phuket, I really like it, and the writer Peterson, it's good, it's good, she's a mute, that girl, and that's what I like about this, uh, this, this character because not only that she's new, that she reads your body language. If you're gonna fight her just by looking at your body uh, of your body language, she can tell what you're gonna do before you start doing it. It's like kinda like reading your mind but she reads your body language. And I really like it. I wanna see if I can if I can get Issue number six on trade, or I mean, if I if, if, if I find somebody who has this comic book that wants to uh, to trade or buy it online on eBay and see or some other places, but it was good. It was really good. And then after that, I decided to read from 1986. I know. And I decided to read this one again. Because I really like the story. Legends. Here's part one. Part two. Part three. Part four. And part five. And the last part, part six. I love this cover. It's really nice. Well, the story is about the by using like TV, newspaper, they make the population go against the justice, against their hero. And the one who was behind all that all the time was Darkseid. By the help of some other guy here. And the struggle of our music, of our superheroes, try to prove themselves that they are not what they say people try to make believe that they are not. So and this was and this is a huge full story. I mean if one I think 
I think the whole post survey takes about 20 something issues. I think it run on every single on every single superhero on the DC universe. And this is done by Ostrander, Wayne and Bernie and Kessel. And it's I really like it. The last time I, I read this was I think was in ninth I think the last time I read it this about it on eighty six. So I read it on eighty six and then I read it again I think it was in the mid nineties and then I read it now. So this is my third time I read it what in twenty years? Something like that but it's good. I feel uh, it's really good. So you wanna see you wanna read some classic good story? Legend. And this is uh, from here is when they start the new Justice League, the new uh, the the Shazam's miniseries. Kind of like uh, from here it came out a lot of titles out of this puzzle, like the dawn of new superheroes. Kind of. Well, guys, this is it. I hope that you like the video. I still have a couple of more comic books that I haven't read. And today's Monday. So, day after tomorrow is Comic Book Wednesday. Yes. We'll see what what I will get this week from, from the comic book shop. And we'll see. Well, guys, this is it. Hope that you like the video. Till next time. Bye.